Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is going to be a series on Creo Parametric uh, and I suppose in some sense uh, introduction to parametric modeling. Uh, although I'm no expert in parametric modeling, I'm just going to try to teach you what I know. Uh, so don't expect these to be the best of practices, but these are something that will get you started. Um, also, I guess the main objective of this series is going to be uh, teaching you exactly how to avoid the, the painful uh, things that, that happen because of using Creo Parametric. Uh, and, and I'm just going to say this now, if you have an option to use something called SolidWorks or Autodesk Inventor, please go use that. If you really need to use Creo Parametric, only then use Creo Parametric because it is one of the most counterintuitive, uh, very frustrating pieces of software uh, uh, to use. Um, but I'm going to try to teach you and I'm going to try to kind of not get stuck myself as I'm doing this. Uh, so uh, let's see here. The structure is going to be this. We're going to begin with parts modeling. Uh, then we're gonna do assembly and we're gonna do kinematic dynamic analysis then we're gonna do finite element analysis all of this using Creo parametric so this is this is gonna take up uh, maybe five videos this is going to take up a good amount of time because there's two ways to do this there's one very common where we use parts then there's another thing called motion skeletons skeletons uh, and we're gonna use those to do kinematic oh this is under the wrong tab I am very good at this it's okay all right so uh, we're going to do kinematic and dynamic analysis with parts and then we're going to try to do them in motion skeletons. I say try because uh, I'm fairly new to this concept myself and I'm going to try to master it by the time we get to it. Uh, but I'm going to concentrate mainly on this because this is aimed at an introductory, uh, aimed as an introductory level course and generally you have to get through this stuff this stuff is uh, kind of uh, not always required in introductory level courses but I'm gonna go over them anyway uh, so let's begin actually I'm gonna end this here and then we're gonna make a new video starting with the parts modeling <laughs> 